Good evening, friends. It's Leela here, and I'm an author, speaker, and business coach, and I'm here today to talk about masculine and feminine energies. It's one of my favorite topics. I just got off of a, a beautiful training with the Fit Body community. I'll put the link below later if you're interested. They provide uh, training videos every single day for multiple experts from around the world. It's an amazing community. I love them. I love community. I'm, I'm really like stepping up my game because they're stepping up their game and then I'm stepping up my game and then they're stepping up their game and we're all stepping up our game together. Isn't that amazing? So, hey, John Block, Anna, oh, Jonathan, Neil, all of you guys, all three of you are here right now. You really understand this and I appreciate your journey. And uh, you've even helped me integrate my masculine and feminine by conversations we've had. So thank you. It's a daily, it's a daily, it's a weekly, it's a monthly, it's a moment to moment practice. So I was a former professor of environmental policy at The Ohio State University. So of course, I like uh, whiteboards and markers. <laughs> I'm a speaker too, and they have these flip charts where there's the paper and the marker and it gives me the creeps. I don't think I can be one of those kind of, I can't do that. But the whiteboard I'm all about. So here's what I want to talk about. Hey, Layla, finally get to catch you live. Whoop, whoop. What's up, girl? I know, girl. I'm always up in the morning. So left brain, right brain, left brain, right brain. So I put the um, the man and the woman, and, and that's just really to, to represent masculine and feminine. We have masculine and feminine within each one of us. We have masculine and feminine relationships with each other. There are masculine and feminine institutional systems. Um, and so this is really just to say, you know, just to represent within, amongst, uh, between. Hey, Jonathan, so um, the left brain, so if you're the kind of person who has challenges in your right body, give me a little heart right now. Give me like, and put right body in the comments because I am a person who has a tendency to have more challenges on, on the right side of my body. I get tighter, um, even like the right nose, it's, uh, side of my nose doesn't breathe as deeply as the left side. And so I want to ask you guys, does your left side or right side tend to have more challenges? Because what may be happening is it's your lifestyle, it's the way that you live with your energy that might be impacting what's going on in your body, okay? So let's talk about it. If you are the kind of person who likes to do, 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 do all the time, not do, do, <laughs> but do a lot of things all the time, um, and it says, right for me, yeah, girl, me too, we got that masculine energy sometimes going on, we're always doing logic, everything's gotta make sense, we gotta understand everything. Uh, decisive action. I know what I'm going to do and I'm going to do it. I know what I'm going to do and I'm going to do it. I know what I'm going to do and I'm going to do it. Maybe your right side of your body is being affected. Not because you somehow keep whacking it, keep hurting the right side for some unbeknownst to you reason, but because that you're doing and trying to figure everything out all the time. Okay? So that's one way. Uh, hey, Tim. Oh, right side, right side. I'm going to share with you, everybody that's on here that said right side, I have no surprise, or I have no, it doesn't surprise me because you're, you're the type of people who love to do a lot in the world. You'd love to get up and wake up and do a lot. And so the magic of the masculine and feminine is that we get to play with both. So there's no right way. But if you're challenging the right side, maybe you can start to work with your feminine energy a little bit more by being more, not doing, having to do so much, allowing some white space in your calendar <laughs> so to just sit and watch the flowers grow, feel your body. Even meditation sometimes can feel like doing because it's sit down, do something, get up, move on. What if you were just to open space to not even know what you're going to do? The mystery, Mystery, friends. Play in the mystery of life more. I promise you more will come. It's so crazy and uncomfortable, but this is the fun that I love to play in. I have to play in both. we got to be in our masculine to get shit done. Excuse my language. But intuition, do you listen to that thing that says do it, despite the fact that it might seem crazy <laughs> to all the people in your life? That might be the feminine. You, have, you may have to take action in a direction that 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 just feels kind of funny but you know it's right some reason some reason and receptive are you willing to receive do you give you know you give a lot maybe if you're the kind of person everybody on here oh mystery she said yeah so is if the right side here right side gives the right side of the body and then the left side receives so see if you can allow your left side to receive more 
and your right side to stop giving so much. And I can tell a big difference even when I'm doing this. There's a big difference the way my right side and left side feels. I'm working on integrating this right side. I've been giving way too much and not, well, and not receiving, you know, it's all in, I've been giving a lot and not receiving a lot. That's what my the path was before. So I'm working on balancing that out of my body, balancing that out of my life and my business everywhere. And so I want you to see here, well, who cares, right? Who cares about masculine and feminine energy? Well, here's what the happy face guy cares. Yeah, so whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't really matter. Oftentimes, you probably want to be more happy than sad or mad or angry, right? <laughs> you want to have a sense of peace and fulfillment and purpose and uh, ability to really fully express yourself in this lifetime. And so when, you, when you're able to integrate your masculine and your feminine energies together in your life, within yourself, in your relationships, and in your bigger vision in the world, then you feel the sense of co-creativeness. Like you have this ability to work with yourself, all parts of yourself. Nothing's denied. You can, you can live all the creative parts and the really uh, structured parts of yourself also. You can work with other people and feel really supported easily. You feel like a whole person. You're not like just living part of you during the day. You're living your whole self all the time, okay? Uh, you've become resilient. Ain't nothing going to shake you. You're not going to be able to be triggered because you're going to feel, you're going to be either able to take action or just pause. And you know that you can play in either energy. It's okay. And sometimes, you know, you might be reactive if you're in the, in the, in the, masculine too much you might lash out and in the feminine too much you might not say anything and so here you'll know what to do more often if you play with both your masculine and your feminine energies and and you'll be more resilient you'll live your destiny your divine destiny like what are you supposed to be and do and feel and experience in this world when you live all parts of yourself you can actually do that and then, uh, like I said, you feel like a whole person, and it's sustainable. I'm a former, like I said, a professor of environmental policy. I really care that you as a person and everybody on the planet, while we're here, while we're living, we feel really good. We have this, like, sustainable lifestyle. I, have, I, I live a much more sustainable lifestyle than many people, the way that I eat, the way that I uh, live in my home, the resources that I use and really don't use, the amount of things that I have, the, um, you know, I have a very complex mind and, and business <laughs> life, but, but I have a very simple um, personal life. And, and a lot of that has to do with this idea that, you know, in my business, I do so much. So in my personal life, I, I soften. I go and sit outside. I, I don't go and do a whole ton of hard stuff physically. I do my yoga, yeah, but it, it's even, it's softening, it's opening. And so it really helps me balance. So I feel loved and loving and lovable and able to serve in a high level. And so I want to ask you, I'm going to um, offer you, I'm going to do some more videos. I love this topic. It's my favorite, one of my favorite topics. I'm going to give you some practical tips and strategies to um, really use every day in, in the future videos. But I want to ask you first, so I really serve you at a high level, like, are you in your masculine or your feminine more? Do you want more masculine? Like, do you want to get more done? Like, are you wanting to start a business or change your career or have a new relationship or make more money, get your, you know, lose weight this year? Is there something you want to do, get done? You want more masculine energy or do you want to, you know, be open to receiving more? Do you want to feel more? Do you want your heart to soften? Um, you know, is your right body your left body? Is there, I want to hear in the comments, like, which one are you? Are you in your feminine more, masculine more? Do you want more of one of the other? Let me know. And then I'm going to create some more videos so that it really explains to you. I'm going to give you, hey, Rockstar Mythica says, yeah, Mythica is amazing. You play the game in masculine and feminine too. I have a feeling really, really beautifully. So in lots of parts of your life. So uh, it's amazing. We all can. We live in a day and age where we realize this and it's like, wow, let's play. Um, and each person, each one of you is going to be a little bit different in terms of what you want. So let me know. Do you want more masculine? Do you want more feminine? I'm going to use some like actual strategies. I'm going to give you one for the masculine, one for the feminine here. One for the feminine is get into nature. Uh, have a garden. Mother Earth is a, a, you know, a really beautiful expression of the feminine. And so any way that you feel connected, whether that bringing flowers into your home, getting your hands dirty in a garden, 
that's a really nice way to embrace your feminine. Um, and so it kind of gives you something to do <laughs> as a first step in terms of not doing, uh, in terms of embracing the feminine. And if you want to be in the doing more, the masculine, um, what, you know, it, a lot of women that I've met have a challenge that are soft and they don't want to get out there. I love an accountability partner as a first step. If you're really scared, if it, it depends on where you are in terms of embracing your masculine. What I really, you know, you, maybe you just need to show up for yourself a little bit more um, and, and, and say you're going to do things and then do them. So get an accountability partner. That's a really nice way to get things done. And also, I'm here for you. <laughs> Reach out to me. Like, that's taking action. Reach out to me or is somebody in your life um, that can support you to getting the things done. You may not even know what action to take. And you just need somebody to say, hey, what about this idea? What about that idea? So you may need some ideas to say, I need to receive some ideas in order to take action you know, forward so you can play with both. Um, so let's see what, what people say. So I need more of a balance of both. I am a switch. I do. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I totally know. In my dreams, I switch genders actually. Lovely idea. Yeah. I love this. So we have people even on this video right now, you guys, thank you, Mythica. Thank you, Sarah, who play with both masculine and feminine and what mask and what energies of both and, and balance of both and harmony of both. And what I will say is I, used to be much more in my masculine. Then I spent a few, several years embracing my feminine. And the other day, uh, last Wednesday morning, I think, I realized in the bathtub, I've been, I'm going to share, I'm going to go on a rant. Anybody want to rant? I'm ready. Okay. I'm a little pissed off. I'm a little pissed off at, at, at women being mean to men. I don't like it. And I couldn't figure out why am I so mad about this? And I realized I've been denying my own masculine. As I've been embracing my feminine energy, I was so scared to be that masculine oomph. And John Block is on here. Really great points, Leela. Thank you. This is part. This is, has a lot to do with my experience with John Block at a three-day event. World-class speaker, masters of influence. What I realize, we can't deny any parts of ourselves, and that's what this is about. That's what this is all about. You have all of this within you. It's all around you. We can't deny our, ourselves, but also others. So I was denying my masculine and I, as I was in, uh, embracing my feminine. I realized that when I was on stage at this three-day event. I didn't realize when I was on stage. I realized it later, <laughs> days later, and no more. And I choose now to say, okay, how can I now that, I re that I've spent all these years embracing my feminine, step back into you being okay with my masculine? Like, it's okay to be big and and spacious and take up a lot and say what you want to sometimes. And it's also okay to soften and listen and be receptive sometimes. It just depends. And I was denying a part of that until I realized last week. So watch out, world. John Block says, yes, embrace all parts of ourselves. First step to embracing others. <whistles> Massively. And thank you, John, for bringing in that. And actually, it's such a good point. I want to ask everybody, if you feel the sense of you don't like something in somebody else, it's, you know, you hear like it's, you don't like it in yourself. So how, what do you do? You start accepting it within. You say, I love this part of me so much. And then, and it actually happened to me, guys, this week. I, there was this person in my life, this friend, and I all of a sudden had this, like, expansion and saw him in this whole new way. And we started having these brilliantly beautiful conversations that we weren't having before. And I think it was because of this embracing my own masculine this week of saying, stepping in, because I was able to speak more boldly, uh, speak <laughs> more boldly. John Block taught me had me speak this out loud and said, boldly ask for what you want. And I did. And it felt amazing. And stay detached from all the outcome. And I did. And it felt amazing. And so that's what, um, you know, a personal story related to how I'm working with my feminine. I'm working on being a really deep listener for my clients, for the people out there in the world, so I can really tune in and support you and support me. And, and also... Um, uh, you know, I just want to bring this to you and say, I'm here for you. Anything you want, any ideas, you know, if you need to get more done, if you need to soften more, reach out. I'm going to continue doing some more videos. Some kind of, I'll probably do one video on embracing the feminine, one embracing the masculine, and really about like practical stuff. I'm all about like, I love like, okay, what can we do day to day? That's really what's going to make a difference, the baby steps. So I'm going to bring you some baby steps for doing some of this pretty soon. Thanks for sharing um, everything about where you are right now in terms of how to balance both. So you'll want to watch both videos if you're working on both. <laughs>
All right. I love you guys. Sending you so many blessings. Uh, namaste, my friends.